Hi, this is Susan Arango from Little Guy CGI, and today I'm going to show you how to add edgeware to a model. This mech was created by Ali Arango, my husband, and I'll show you how to add edgeware to it. So we're looking at the mech. Um, we're in object mode. The mech is selected, and we need to change it from the low poly to the high poly mech because you apply the edgeware to the high poly. So we're going to turn off the eye to the low poly, and we're going to turn on the eye to the high poly, and we're going to click on that um, so we have that selected. Um, if you don't have this background, um, here you want to be in the look dev mode, which is this ball right here. And if you click on the this shading, um, if you turn on scene world, then you get the color that corresponds with this world button right here. But if you uncheck scene world, then you get the HDRI um, backgrounds that you can choose from. So you can have a dark one. Um, or a lighter one, whichever one you want. So that's how you get the more realistic lighting look. So in order for Edgeware to work, um, you actually have to be in Cycles, not EV. So um, you click this radio button thing looking here, and you change it from EV to Cycles, and the CPU, um, change it to the GPU Compute. And then we're going to go to the Materials tab, and we need to delete all the materials off of um, this part of the mech right now, so that it looks like that. So then you click New, and that gives you a new principled shader. And then we're going to add in the nodes that you need to create the edgeware. So the first one is a bevel node. Um, which is in the input. Um, go back to input again and we need a geometry node. Then we're going to go down to converter and we need a color ramp. And we're going to go to converter again and we need a vector math. And those are the four nodes that you need to create the edgeware. So out of the geometry node, you can scroll your middle mouse button to uh, scroll in so you can see better. Um, you're going to take the normal into the top vector, and you're going to take the normal of the bevel into the bottom vector. This add you're going to change to dot product. This value goes into the factor, and this color goes into the base color. You're then going to change the samples on the bevel node to 16. And we're going to change the radius right now to 1.150. So with those settings set up, um, we then go to the color ramp to make the edgeware come out. So edgeware is what you see on the edges of metal. Um, like this mech or cars or tanks or anything like that that shows that it um, has some wear to it. Uh, the, it's usually a silvery gray color or rust or something like that. So we're going to take this node, slide it all the way up, and we're going to take the white house and slide it down like that. Position the white house somewhere around the B and the black house up this way more. And as you can see, um, the edgeware comes in nicely right there. And if you switch to the rendered mode, uh, you can really see it on the um, edges of everything. And we can go to the little um, radio looking thing here and change the viewport to 400 samples so that it um, you can see it going up right here so that you can see a clear picture of what the edgeware looks like. So you can see it right around the edges there. Gives you a nice clean when you're hard surface modeling um, edgeware. 
So that's um, pretty much how to add edgeware to your model. Um, because Ollie makes most of his things to use in animations, um, we need to use low poly uh, meshes. So um, be, even though we created this on the high poly, what you would do is bake it out to a map and then you would apply the map just like you would a normal map um, to the low poly and you would see this edgeware on there after you bake it in and, um, and then you would be able to use it in animation with the cool, look cool looking edgeware on it. Okay and pretty much that's how you um, make edgeware for uh, hard surface models. Um, just a couple other things. This radius uh, controls how wide your edgeware is. So if you increase it, um, as you can see, it, it gets much more um, thick and pronounced here. You can also change um, the color. Say you wanted this to be more uh, metal looking. You could change this to um, more of a gray color as opposed to white. Maybe a little tiny bit of blue in it or a little bit of red to make it look more like rust. Um, you can also change this color so if you wanted to match um, the color of the guns the color that the guns are you could get that color um, from those materials and have it match exactly so that um, the edgeware was on the exact same color of the guns and that's where you would do that um, right here. Alright, so that was a quick tip for how to make edgeware. Um, if you have any questions or comments about um, baking it or what to do with it, you can leave those in the comments below. And um, as always, thanks for watching and please click the subscribe button and I'll See you next time. Bye.